Good morning, Team America. Welcome to Monday, the 2nd of November. Oh. Yeah. So, it started off really quick. This past weekend, uh, Kamala Harris, Kamala, Kamala Harris, came to Texas, and apparently she was, you know, ushered out by a truckload of Trump supporters, all of them in these big trucks. You know, it's nothing new to Texas. You know, everybody sees them here. Big old, big old four-wheeler trucks, flying Trump flags, following the Biden uh, bus around, and they all got scared, called the FBI and everything, and <clears throat> even though nothing happened, I uh, posted a video on my Facebook, if you watch it, there was some woman claiming that, you know, that, that uh, <clears throat> one of the Trumpsters was trying to run off an associate to the Biden truck, which wasn't true at all. But if you watch the video, make sure you watch the whole video and you'll see what really happened. And, uh, yeah, I think the Democrats are starting to panic as we go into the final day tomorrow. Because tomorrow night we find out who is the president. And uh, it's a good day. A good way to feel that way. And... Uh, a lot of the friends that I have on Facebook, at least on Facebook, who uh, are part of the Democratic Party, have been very quiet over the last three or four days, not posting anything. And, you know, it's, it's bound to happen. Someone's going to win. Someone's going to lose. And unfortunately, there's no participation award because someone's going to get arrested. Yeah, I think someone's going to prison for the rest of their lives. Um, if it all happens the way it's supposed to happen in America. Uh, if not, then we have an issue. You know, I find it very interesting that uh, people that support the Democratic Party look past what happened to Judge Kavanaugh when he was, you know, nominated. And someone out of 38 years of his past came up, a very ugly woman. She, was, she wasn't all that pretty either when she was younger. But uh, she comes up there, and she's a doctor, and she doesn't remember. But my friends will tell you, and no one corroborated her story. But the but the Me Too movement was in huge support. And uh, then our president, your president, was accused of being a collaborator with the Russians, and that there was a steel dossier that was gonna find him guilty because it was gonna go before Congress and guess what, nothing, absolutely nothing. But Congress still got its way and impeached the president, at least partly, till the Senate got hold of it and said, no, there's nothing in here, because there never was. But Democrats look past that. And these are just ways to get people fired, you know? And, you know, there's, there's all these, um, democratic states that want unions in their lives because unions protect me i have representation why can't you represent yourself why do you have to pay for that representation you know if someone wants you fired they're going to fire you regardless you know here in the state of texas you know you have that right to work bullshit and i don't like it myself but if you're gonna get fired you know what's coming because people just start acting really stupid right before they fire you it's just like democrats you know they start acting real stupid before they start doing stupid shit and, uh, and saying stupid things. But as I said before, I'm not completely against everything that the Democrats have brought up. I'm not completely against everything. You know, I have a problem with the Second Amendment. You know, uh, I believe that there's a lot of people, you know, that shouldn't be carrying weapons at all. You know? I have a problem with it, but um, that's not for me to have a decision. I just have an opinion, but um, yeah, there's, there's people in my life that are Republicans that have no business carrying a weapon at all, and uh, you know, but I don't like criminals living in the area where I live and my young men live, that live with me, my boys. Or, you know, I don't like hearing stories of kids that are being kidnapped and put into sex camps and shit like that. I'm just totally against it. And I don't like pedophiles. I don't like incest. I don't like bestiality, which is going to be legalized in California pretty soon. 
But uh, I don't like any of that stuff. And, you know, California is a blue state, or at least it was. I hope it changes. It would be great if it did, no doubt it. But, man, if, if you're moved from California to Texas, you need to start thinking as a Republican conservative, and not as, because Texas is not going to change for, for your feelings, and because you want to marry your cousin, or your horse, or your dog, or whatever, you know. It, it's a sad state of affairs when, when people really believe that that's going to happen. And uh, a lot of proud Texans here, you know, a lot of proud people drive big four, you know, four wheeler trucks, V8s and, you know, you're going up against a, a huge, huge population of conservatives here. And when they come out of the woodwork, man, do they come out of the woodwork, but um, <clears throat> call them racist if you want, but I really wouldn't do that in front of their face. You know, it's safer to stay on your keyboard and be on Facebook when you do that kind of stuff especially around here. I know that's standard procedure in other states. You know, get, just get on Facebook and see what you want to say. And then if they, if they don't like you, you just cut them off. That's the way they do it. Land of the free and home of the uh, not so brave, right? But to all you Americans, all you Team America fans that are out there that uh, will accept the outcome any way you want and not make a big deal out of it, this is for us to string one together. Come on, grab your cops. Grab your cops. Come on, do it. Ready? One, two, three. Good stuff. It's a beautiful day out here. It's cold. I'm still recovering from the accident I was in almost over a week now. Uh, my sternum still cracked. Um, I actually sneezed the other day and I thought my whole chest was going to pop open. But I also have like a tear in my back. I think one of my, uh, one of my uh, spine thingies. <laughs> I think the, one of my ruptured uh, things in my back could be ruptured or something because it's, it's hard, hurts to lay down, but we're doing good. I'd like to thank all the people that came out and actually watched the music video that we released for my, the movie that we made, the Texas Veterans Group called uh, Teamwork Pictures. We uh, have a zombie movie that's going to be coming out next month, and we have a music video. If you haven't watched it, please, please, pretty please stop everything you're doing and just watch the video. Just support Texas veterans and, um, you know, do something that these other people who claim that they support veterans don't do. Support us. It's a lot of fun. And uh, the movie's really good. I can tell you that I was worried that I was making another independent film that wasn't going to go anywhere until I watched five episodes of The Walking Dead and I went, man, our shit is better than this shit. But uh, I'm not a big fan of zombie movies or The Walking Dead or anything, but uh, I can tell you that our movie's damn pretty good. Pretty good. And uh, we got blood and guts and heads being broke off and you know everything, everything you need in a zombie movie is in there and it's got a really good story. It's funny. We got some sexy stuff in there. We got some really good fight scenes and, you know, watch the music video. You get to see some of it and it's pretty good. You know, we have Chris Hahn, who's a ex uh, wrestler and professional wrestler. And we got a comedian that's in there. He just does a grand, fantastic job. You've got to watch it. It's a great, great show led by Zara Mazipour, who's a, a very good actress here locally in Houston and uh, very talented, very beautiful. And, but she's really tough and I've actually, videotaped her doing some boxing stuff if you haven't seen it. She's she's the real deal. And uh, it's a really good movie. And we're gonna have a premiere and everyone's gonna get to watch it and you know. This ain't my first one. This is like my tenth, eleventh one I think. But uh it gets exciting after that. But ah oh, man. Well let's cut this one short so you can get back to work and start defending what you believe in liberty. For Team America, let's drink one more time. And remember, tomorrow night we get to find out. And Wednesday morning, I get to either brag about it or sulk. But I'm pretty sure I'll be bragging. I'm sure of it. Let's drink together one last time. <sighs> Hot coffee. Mm. All right. Well, for Team America, this is Dave signing off. Make sure you watch me on YouTube. Click the link say that you like it. And subscribe. Even if you don't even know what it means, just hit subscribe. 
and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Talk to you later.